video is going to show how to tell if your capacitor is bad and also how to uh, compare it to a universal capacitor. So if you notice, this capacitor is 45.5 and this symbol here for microfarads, plus or minus 6%. So what you do is with your meter, you turn it over to this symbol here, which reads microfarads. Many meters don't have them, but if you do have them, then you can use this type. And with your leads, and of course, you know, uh, never work on anything live. This is a capacitor that hasn't been in use. Um, if it has been in use, make sure to get a, a metal object, like a screwdriver, and just make sure to uh, de-energize the capacitor because it does can uh, store energy, some of them. So, what you do is you see here on the capacitor, there's C for common, this is for AC, F for fan, and HERM for compressor or hermetic. So you have these three, this is a dual capacitor and this is a circle shaped. They have uh, oval shaped, they have single capacitors where it's not three but two uh, taps, usually a C and a fan or a C and hermetic. Um, and the way you test it is, again, you put it on the symbol there, which reads microfarad. You can go from the common to fan, and you're supposed to get that lower number of five, which here we're not really getting anything. You see, I'm gonna take my leads off, and we're not getting anything. This should read 45. That's also not reading anything. So this capacitor is definitely bad. And again, a way to tell that is you see it's kind of uh, bubbled out right there. Uh, you never want them to look like that, um, where it just looks like it's swollen. So this is definitely a bad capacitor, 45 being the common to hermetic and five being the uh, fan to common. Uh, and it's supposed to be within 6% tolerance. So you may get like 5.01 or 5.05, .05, that's within 6%. Same thing with the 45, it may be 44.98, and that's within that 6%. So uh, this is a definitely a bad capacitor. This is a universal capacitor. You see it's got uh, a few different uh, taps on the top, the center being the common. And uh, the other ones are color-coded, so this one is 2.5 microfarads, but can be used for 3, 5 microfarads, can be used for 4 or 6, uh, 25. So in order to make up what we have here, again, which is a 45.5, we have the common, which is here in the center. We want to make up the 5 here. So this is 5. Uh, and this one here, it's got two fives. So which one do you use? Well, this particular model, the uh, brochure says to use the lower number. And so let's just test it out to see, again, this one, common, common to fan, gave me nothing. Well, how about this one, common to the five, or four microfarad. Well, I put it there and that's what I'm getting. If I were to put it to the, which is within this tolerance here, if I were to put it to uh, the five or six microfarad substitute, and let's see what it pulls up. So I'm getting closer to six. So I would use this one here. So that's gonna be my fan. So I'm gonna hook up the exact wire that was here for fan, I'm gonna use it there. Now for 45, well, we do a little math here, 20 and 25. They provide you in this universal box, they provide you jumpers. So I would jump her out at 20 and at 25. Now, 
with my meter in order to check the microfarads on that. Here it goes. It's close to 45 there. So uh, that's how you can use a multi tap or universal capacitor. Don't forget too to write down with a marker sometimes that they provide, write down what uh, values you're using, in this case a 45.5. That way next time you can actually get the actual capacitor.